Hi guys, welcome to the video. This is my solo guide on this week's Master Nightfall. It is a 1350 strike and it is Lake of Shadows. I'm going to be using Biting Winds because as Overload Champions is also unstoppable. So I'll be using an Energy Fusion Rifle for that, the Cartesian Coordinate. I'll speak more about that during the run. That is the perk there, Vorpal Weapon. It's obviously a rapid fire frame. Get this weapon. Honestly, with this roll, get this weapon. Xenophage, uh, to deal with any kind of long-range, heavy solar dudes. Solar dudes? <laughs> Particle deconstruction works really well with the fusion rifle. It's obviously a artifact mod. Fusion, linear fusion, and machine... They're, they're both the same mod. And we've also got, got machine gun scavenger. Arc damage resist concussive dampener with high energy fire. Obviously unstoppable and overload mods and fusion rifle machine gun finder. I'm getting charged with light from picking up orbs and for breaking a shield with a matching a matching energy type and having a hundred recovery is really really gonna help you. So the Cartesian coordinate it's just such a good weapon. If so far that and the darkest before which I've on Twitter I've really I've been screaming about. Uh, they are the things of the season for me so far. So, uh, there's three arc shields in this strike. I didn't think that justified having an arc weapon when there's so much long range solar. So, these are two of the arc guys. Now, you see, I take one really quickly and then just couldn't hit the other one. I, I, I don't know if it was too close to the edge. So, I'm just going to put a rift down. There we go. Come up to the right hand side where I am. It just you get you take less less damage from the ads, and you can see there that's that's the two taking centurions down. I'm just gonna charge a grenade. Obviously, we're using controverse. Help us get the grenades back. The grenades will do a lot of work that will so that will weapons don't have to do as much, especially against just rank and file ads. Now there is an unstoppable, you can see them there. I'm just trying to make sure there's none of these little little guys. There you go. There's a lot more of them. I'll just reload my Xenophage. Or not. Uh, making me out a liar there. Uh, what I'm going to do is, I'm just going to make sure that some of these guys are gone. See there, I think that was the last one. Then I'm going to coax the, the, the Unstoppable out. Now, the unstoppable fusion rifle, aim it for a second until you see on the left hand side, uh, unstoppable shot. And you might have seen that every time I hit him, it showed that Vorpal was active while I was hitting him. That's why he took huge damage at the end there. Take down the blight. Now you don't have to take the blight. You can go right past the blight and take out the champions. I decided I wasn't going to do that. I was just going to do the strike normally and kill everything. But if you go past them, you won't get these ads and you can just deal with the champions. Uh, most of the overload champions are going to take from range. This bow is, is it's actually okay, but as you can tell, console user, controller, sometimes it's not so easy to be 100% accurate with every single shot. I tried to get as many crits going as possible. You can use Lemon Arc. I was going to use Lemon Arc. But the Solar, the, 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 there isn't enough void to justify a weapon type. So this bow done, as you'll probably see through the run, it actually done admirably. Xenophage, more so. I, I, got to, I tried this two or three times. I got to the boss two or three times. And I just forgot something that happens at the boss fight. That is why Xenophage is on. I'll speak about that when we get to the boss. Xenophage will bypass shields because of the expl intrinsic explosive damage. So, uh, watch out tree. Incoming grenade. Uh, I didn't like that tree. Uh, so, <laughs> I thought I was actually going to throw it past the tree. Uh, yeah, it will, it will bypass shields. Uh, red bars easier than yellow bars for some reason. Well, obviously it makes sense that yellow bars would have stronger shields. So I'm now going to back up here because we've got two overloads, uh, two unstoppables. So we're going to go around the corner and then I'm going to put a rift down and I'm going to stop 
your boy in a second. There we go. And then I'm just going to Nova. <laughs> now, the reason I Nova is because there was two of them, like, in close proximity. Normally, one comes and the other one kind of waits. He's like, oh, I don't really know what's going on here. So it's okay if, if, if there's only one just melting with the, the fusion rifle. And trust me, it will melt. You've seen with the first to Unstoppable. So I'm just trying to get picks. There's a couple of snipers hanging about up here. And there's also an overload just at the back of those. Uh, I want to get rid of those. And if you have a little look on the screen, you can see that even though I've used Xenophage, even though I've used Fusion, with the finders and the, the scavenger, you're never really going to be... I, I In all the runs I've done, I was never like, ooh, I'm nearly run out of ammunition here. You do get your ammo back relatively quickly. Those... Uh, those uh, thrall there, absolutely no chill. Seen the grenade went <laughs> too late and just teleported straight past it. So I'm going to just... When you're taking down blights, I kind of go with the rule of thumb, whether it's going to be fusion rifle <clears throat> or machine gun, I go with the rule of thumb. Whatever I've got the most ammo is what I'll use. Now, although you're not struggling for ammo, you don't want to put yourself in a position where you might... Quick tip about Overload Champions, it doesn't really matter what weapon you use. If you keep hitting the Overload with the Overload weapon, once you stun him and he, stand, he kind of hunches over, then he'll stand back up. Uh, and then you can, it's like a flinch, you don't stop him again, but you kind of flinch him. If you keep hitting him with the Overload, you will flinch him and he will not ge regenerate his health, which, as we all know, Overloads have a tendency to do that. It's moments like these. Now, as I've already said, there was something that happened at the boss and I was like, oh yeah, <clears throat> forgot about that. But it's in situations like these that the Xenophage became my 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 choice. There is three arc shields, one void shield, and an absolute mess of solar shields. So I wanted to use a linear fusion rifle, obviously. Uh... With Linear's being so strong this season, I thought it would have done a good job. And Corsair's Wrath, which was uh, Season of the Worthy, was it? Season of the Worthy's Linear Fusion Rifle. Uh, Crow's DLC, Crow's Season. And I've got one with high impact resolves. I felt that would do a good job, but honestly, Xenophage does more than just take down solar shields. It actually bypasses the arc shields, so it, it was a no-brainer. Now, if you hadn't have killed, if you hadn't have took down the first blight, uh, you could have came up here, and all you would have really had to deal with are these champions. The, 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 you, would have, you would have had to take out the champions, and then when you'd have broke the blight, you wouldn't have got any ads. And you'd have, you'd have come all the way up here, you'd have took, all, took these, these champions out, and then went back down and broke, kept, uh, done the blights. I didn't see the point in doing that because, well, just, just kill everything and move on, right? Simple, simple. Just me simplify it for myself, kill everything, move on. So once you've done all this, take this route over here, right? Regardless of what level you're doing this on. So I'm going to put a grenade down because there's lots of those little, little guys, little scions. Nobody likes them. And uh, I'll just use the fusion rifle to take out. So as you can see, the the Xenophage went through the arc shield even at these levels. Now this is, as, a, as I've already said, this is a 1350. I am 1349. And I know, I just know I'm going to get comments saying, oh, look at his power level. That's why he can do it. Well, when you get to 1349, watch the video and it'll show you how you do it. Simple, I just got here relatively quickly if you want an extra power level there is a i've made a video i released it today uh showing you how to how to farm xp quickly uh and 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 check it out because it's, it's actually pretty good i think it's my first level guide for all the accounts that i've built over the years and i've done them on stream i've done challenges on my account i've been doing it for a long time in fact some of the videos that you guys might have watched to level up how are using the exact same strategy I've been using for about 18 months, so I'm glad they learned something from my, my streams. Anyway, 
Now, now that we've got past there, as you can see with those two overloads, I just kind of jerk in and out and hit them with shots. They won't regenerate their health because I'm using an overload weapon to damage them, and that just keeps them suppressed, keeps them, keeps them in the box. Uh, now, I tried to take this guy with a fusion rifle. That could have went really badly. So, my suggestion, if he starts teleporting that way, <laughs> is go this way. <laughs> Don't do what I just done there. But I used the fusion rifle because I didn't want to be over reliant on xenophage. Again, as I've said, I'll use the thing I've got the most ammunition for. A couple of couple of little guys kind of poking about down here. Uh, watch out for the blue walls. They seem to have turned them up from being mildly annoying to uh, real a real threat to 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 your life. The, you can't. You will die from these now. It's ridiculous. You've got so what used to happen before was you you always had one of those taking captains up here. He seems to now have gained uh, like abandonment issues or something, or I don't know if he's if he's suffering from some sort of anxiety. But he he hangs down there now with that guy, so you can chain you know, ha break shields and chain explosive damage and break two shields one shot. So it's kind of works in your favour. So be aware that the first platform you'll have a knight on, second platform you'll just have adds, third platform you'll have two solar shielded bad guys. Uh, so we managed to stop him and you'll see here, that is ridiculous. That damage, the, the increase that particle... Uh, Particle uh, disruptor, uh, deconstruction. Sorry, not disruptor. Particle deconstruction. The the additional. It's like rampage on steroids for fusions and linears. Uh, and with Vorpal, you you really are just. You're not a nice person to these people, but who wants to be? So I charge a grenade and I throw it over there because it's like I don't know they're having like a party or something over there. And now I'm going to take out these guys. I'm not going to... I used to go for the whole mess of ads just round there to the left. Now, I, because they don't really pose a threat, it probably... It doesn't make any sense to take them first because you've got to put yourself in harm's way to actually take them. And they are literally m multiplying as I'm killing them. And there we go. That's them all done. I think there is a, there's two or three still there, but they've kind of jumped round the back. There's one there that thought he'd come back, and they, now they're all coming back. Whoops. No luck. There we go. Now I'm going to back away back up here. There is a... There's a... An overload at the top. Uh, I'm going to back away back there. Make sure that the overload is... Because he's got a couple of positions he takes up here. So what I'm going to do before I attack him... just wanted to make sure that I could get in here without the overload. Shooting me through the bottom of the platform... Uh, in that gap so now I'm going to put a rift down and we're going to take both these overloads there's one here and there's one on the walkway below you can just about on the bottom just, just, just at the bottom of the screen see them I don't really at one place I'll, I use the fusion rifle to take down an overload once I've, once I've disrupted them and the reason I don't do that more uh, repeatably is because Sometimes they take exception to that and they regenerate as you're hitting them and they fire this thing, it's called a retribution blast. You guys have probably experienced it. When you do damage to a knight uh, or a, a captain, sorry, it's, it's normally the hobgoblins, and they do this thing where they fire like five shots at you. They are called uh, retribution blasts. It's basically, it's like, it's, it's like the hobgoblins indignation that you've shot at him in the first place that's retribution so it, but regardless of how funny it is that they've called it retribution uh annoyed because i shot at them uh the the they hurt a lot so you know that's why i decided not to push with a close range weapon on the overloads to take them down i would just use the bow plus it's an ammo drain as well. We took out that guy at the end. 
Uh, and that leaves us an Overlord and an Unstoppable, as you can see there. So what I'm going to do is Mary Poppins all the way past them like this. Watch out for the, the blip wall. And we're good. Jump over the other side. And now we're in a safe position. Put a rift down. We've got the higher ground. We're in a safe position. And we can just... Uh, See that retribution blast? Because I threw the grenade. When you stop, when you hit one of these overloads with the bow, an overload bow, obviously you need to have the overload mod on. But when you st hit them with a with a charged overload shot, they don't fire the retribution blast at you because you disrupt them immediately. So that's the overload gone. Now we're just coaxing big boy out. And you'll see here, it's, it's it's not real great damage, but then I just switch to Xeno, get them finishable, and then Hail Mary. I could have waited till my health come back to do it, because Unstoppables don't regenerate their health. That's, that's probably the most annoying thing about Overloads, is you can almost kill one, and then just from circumstance, he might be able to regenerate his health totally. That's quite annoying. So we'll just charge a grenade here. Take out these thrall. Now I want that knight down because if I don't, he will just keep focus firing this doorway with and you can see there it it's it's burning. He'll he'll just focus fire this door with fire. And you can't deal with the the unstoppable. And then the unstoppable comes up shielded and you can't deal with them anyway. <laughs> So, what what we're going to do is, we're just going to poke out here and stop them there. And there we go. And I'm going to use the bow now to take out these kind of smaller ads. As you can see, there's like special everywhere. Now we have, I'm going to take these guys out here. We do have, watch out for the blip walls. I'm going to move over the other side. To be safe. So I'm going to take this guy out. And now on the other side. You've got a solar shielded knight. And an overload. I take them from here. I can put a rift down. I'm going to. If needs be. You know. I want to take the knight out first. So I'm just going to charge a grenade. Now what happened. Happens sometimes. It's not a big deal. Uh, is the overload. Didn't like it. So the overload left. Went up top. But now. It's not a big deal because you can still take him quite quite easily. It's just his head is slightly obscured and he's more mobile. But you are in a safe spot. See how I'm kind of moving in and out? It's That is the strategy when it comes to taking down an overload. It's to make yourself a difficult target. I'm not a big fan whenever I've done stuff with people and I see them just kind of standing, facing up an overload. The overload can just get annoyed with you, you know? If, if you're hitting your shots like that, then, then perfect. But it is in my experience that anybody that stands out of cover taking down a champion head on, obviously, may not, well, maybe, maybe not obviously, but there's a chance that they're not going to be hitting all their crits because an experienced player wouldn't do that in the first place. Right? So don't be that guy or girl. You know, do it like this. So, oh, Shadow Throw, bye bye. So, in here, you've got a wizard, right? That is the only void-shielded enemy in the whole strike. And I chose to go avoid subclass. <laughs> yes. And it's, it is the most efficient. I, tr I, I tried a few different subclasses. I actually done an arc, a void, and a solo run. And this is the only one that repeatedly got to the boss. And beat the boss. Because this was my first run on the void subclass. And with, with the Xenophage, because I didn't use the Xenophage to start with. We've already seen the the how good the Xenophage is in, situa in, in, in situation. It will bypass shields. It's still got that big one hit, you know, that big bang effect. You know, it's just such a good weapon. I ran Linears to start with because they're the weapons this season. But actually, Linears aren't the weapons this season. Fusion rifles are the weapons this season. Uh, I like my uh, tarantula, or for my friend Evan, the Tarantella. Uh, I remember when I told him about the weapon, he said, oh, you're saying that wrong, it's Tarantella. It's, isn't that a Spanish dance or an 
Italian dance. No, it's the tarantula. <laughs> and I've never stopped winding them up about it ever since. Uh, I was using that, and it done okay until I got to the boss. And then at the boss, it was left wanting. Not for the damage it was doing on the boss, for its uh, utility as as an arc weapon. And that's why the Xenophage has worked so well during this run. But we will we'll get to that. What, what I'm doing is I, I all of a sudden haven't developed the urge to start jumping about and being being uh, kind of all glitchy. I'm trying to get this overload to come out. And enemies in Destiny are they're activated more by sound than anything else. So if you don't bush jump, you won't activate all the enemies. But if you bush jump, all the enemies in that area will start shooting at you. So I killed those... Uh, those taking scions around the corner and that's what made him come out obviously very nosy overload champion uh so again prime read prime read his head off a couple of ads maybe still around here we'll just take them out now we've got two more overloads and we are at the boss now obviously I forgot about the ravenous goblin take him out no problem if we can ever hit a headshot that's him out now. What my first run ended here. Because I forgot that these were champions. So be careful about doing what I'm doing. I need to get him to come out. I don't want to stop him around there. So I'm just kind of shooting the area around him and hopefully he'll come out and go, what's going on here? When he does, I decide to do that and that was a bad idea. Because then he just ran away. Don't do that. Don't throw a grenade. I'm, I am a fan of, of landing grenades on them, but if you can like do it fluidly, so st stun them, grenade, and then keep hitting them. But I, A, the grenade went past them because was, I was too close and couldn't get the angle right. And oh, Okay, it was a bad grenade. Uh, now what I'm going to do is I'm just going to stun them, and you'll see here, He's not going anywhere, but that Retribution Blast, just that one, took exactly half my health away. So yeah, don't 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 be throwing grenades if you're if the enemy is above you and it's an overload. Uh, in close proximity like that one, as you could see, it worked absolutely brilliantly that that I uh, stunned them and then just pushed them with a the fusion rifle, which done big damage and melted them pretty quickly. But because this one is ranged, I can just kind of juke in and out left and right. And this little rock here we're just running past, that actually is like a physical object. It will it, it, will, it will block his snipes. So here we are at the boss. To start with, you're going to have this uh, Taken Knight. You've got two little thrall in there. We can't stay on the floor with the weapons we've got. Right, we're not, and, and it, it's a master. This this isn't a legend or a hero where you can just run about with a sword, screaming. You you just get melted in here. So what I'm going to do here, and it's an old tactic that I used in a, I think maybe my last master. Just off to the right of where we're looking at, there's a little ledge up at the top. I'm gonna get up on there. That's where we're gonna do a DPS. We're gonna be off the floor. We're gonna have. Some protection from the boss's shots. Now, he is going to be able to hit, hit us, but his shots are arc. Hence why I chose arc damage and concussive. The only enemy that can get a direct hit on us is a solar shielded knight. Hence the xenophage. So, what I'm going to do, Nova, hold that for me, buddy. Ah, oh, you dropped it. Now no enemy, you see I've took that captain, that, that, that knight out, no enemy has a direct shot on us. Now we will take a little bit of damage from these ads. You see the solar damage hitting me? Now when this, I, I, I'm not going to lie to you, when this started hitting me, I was a little bit worried because I couldn't work out where it was coming from. Turns out it was the other knight and he stopped shooting at us. Now, I'm just, I've moved as far to the back as I feel safe enough to do. 
The screen shake is coming from the ads below. As you can see, their shots hitting the bottom. They're kind of coming through. We are not actually taking too much damage. The boss will hit you. But it's like random shots. And you just... Just get away to the back. You know, don't go too far. But just edge your way to the back. And make sure that, you know... You're not taking the meat of his shots, if you like. So I'm just like... Clearing out these ads, there's a cut. I know that there's one or two just off to the right. I don't push like right now. I won't push to take a, 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 a any of the enemies because the boss is shooting at us and we do not have a rift. If we had a rift, I would. But as you can you can see here, you see that's that's what I'm talking about about the boss. The boss will hit with random shots, but it's not enough. It's not enough to uh, to really damage us. Those were the ads that were doing when, when my health started to go down. I was getting hit by more than one ad. So we've got the boss not far away from being half. And I'm just going to take... Because I'm in the rift. I'm just going to make sure there's no other ads. Now you see there, I went to take that captain down. And couldn't because one of the floating rocks blocked my, my line of sight to him. Which means it blocked his line of sight to me actually so i'm safe from him literally for the rest of this run i'm gonna wait till i get my nova my next nova is gonna be that's gonna gonna kill him i don't do anything until i've got a rift i just back away you see there my grenades doing decent damage we've got him under health half health now I've still got, I'm still looking to the right because I expected another knight to come in. I don't know if I bypassed that. I think I do get him. I think he does come in. So now what I'm doing is, because I've got Controverse on, as long as I can hit the boss with grenades, you'll see there, you don't have to kill things to get grenade energy back. You just have to hit them repeatedly. So the longer it stays on an ad, the more grenade energy you get back. And my, my grenade... My grenade recharge rate's half decent. I haven't put my rift down because experience has told me that you only put your rift down when it when you're red, when you really need it. Now you don't have to wait until you are red bar because that that, that wouldn't be right. But you don't put your rift down until you you can't survive what you're getting hit by. You see there, I am getting hit by the odd shot, but I'm regenerating. So, the minute I go down, and I feel like, oh, I'm gonna, you know, this could be bad, then I'm gonna put my rift down. But at the moment, it doesn't really feel like that. So I've dropped that grenade on him. Now I went red, rift goes down. And I've almost got, I'm just gonna put another grenade on him. Having a look at his health, he's in his last health bar, which means we should get another wave of ads. There we go. And I, I'm just going to drop that down there. And I'm not going to do anything because I'm going to throw my, my Nova at him. We didn't get the other night, I was expecting to get the other night, and you'll see here how much the Nova hits for. Nova hits for 200,000, 200 and odd thousand. And that's the rim. Stay up there, back away to the back as far as you comfortably feel and crouch. Don't attack unless you've got a rift and just keep pinging those grenades on them. And there you go, guys. That is a solo master. First of many, I hope. Thank you to everybody that's been showing the love on the channel over the last day. I greatly appreciate it. Take it easy, and I will see you guys in the next video.